In this lecture, we will learn about workspaces in Terraform and how to use them. Earlier in the course, we learned about state and its use when running Terraform operations. Whether stored locally or in remote backends such as S3 and Terraform Cloud, state is essential in mapping the real-world infrastructure allowing Terraform to model what changes it needs to apply based on the configuration defined in the state files. And irrespective of whether the state is stored locally or remotely, all the examples that we have seen so far has one-to-one -one mapping between the configuration directory and the state file. This means that we have had one Terraform state file per configuration directory so far. Let us consider a scenario where we want to create an EC2 instance in the AWS CA Central 1 region for a new project called Project A. This can be done by making use of a simple configuration file in a configuration directory called Project A, which is inside the Terraform projects directory like this. If you run Terraform Apply now inside this configuration directory, Terraform will create the EC2 instance as expected. It will also create a state file. Now, what if we want to replicate the same configuration for another project, say Project B, but with a different AMI ID and a server name as compared to Project A? How do we go about that? The logical way would be to create a new directory called Project B, copy the configuration files from Project A directory, change the AMI ID and the tags as needed, and repeat the steps that we did for setting up the Project A instance. However, the goal of using Terraform or any IAC tool for that matter is to eliminate repeatable steps and efficiently make use of existing code as we saw in the module section. With that in mind, Terraform offers a feature that allows configuration files within a directory to be reused multiple times for different use cases, such as creating a Project A and a Project B environment within the same configuration directory. This feature is called Workspace. With workspaces, we can use the same configuration directory to create multiple infrastructure environments such as the Project A and the Project B environment. To create a workspace, we use the Terraform Workspace command. This is followed by the new subcommand and the name of the workspace that we want to create. We will first create the Project A workspace. Once the workspace is created by this command, Terraform will immediately switch to it as well. To list the workspace that was created, use the Terraform Workspace List command. In this example, this command lists two workspaces. The default workspace is the one that is created by default. The new workspace that we just created is called Project A and has got a star preceding it, which means that that is the current workspace that we are on. Now that we have created workspaces, let us see how to use it within configuration files to create EC2 instances based on the workspace that we are in. Let us go over our requirements again. Without duplicating the configuration files, we want to create EC2 instances for two projects in the CA Central 1 region. Project A with the AMI ID ending with 279, instance type of T2 Micro and the name of Project A and another instance for Project B with the AMI ID that ends with F4D and the same instance type but with the name tag of Project B. To have a single configuration that can achieve this, we have to update our configuration file that we initially used. We have the variables.tf file with the variable region set to CA Central 1. We now remove all the hard-coded values from the main.tf file and configure them as variables in the variable.tf file. We add an instance type with a default value of t2 micro. We then add a new variable called ami of type map. Here we have two key value pairs. The first key is project A and to this we have assigned a value of the ami ID that we want to use for project A and that ends with 279. Similarly, for the second key, which is Project B, we have assigned the AMI ID that ends with FOD. In the main.tf file, we have set the value of instance type to use the variable called instance type, which is defined in the variables.tf file. Let us now update the value of the AMI and the tags to make use of the values associated with the workspace called Project A that we created. Let's start with the tags first. Here, we need the name of the workspace that we are currently in. But how do we get that? 
How do we get the name of the workspace that we are currently in within the configuration file? To do this, we'll make use of terraform.workspace, which provides the value of the current workspace that we are in. To test this, let's make use of the terraform console command again. If we type in terraform.workspace, it should return the workspace that we are currently in, which in this case is project A. This is something we can make use of in the main.tf file. We add this as the value to the tag with the key called name. Next, for the AMI argument, let's use a lookup function that we have used in the previous lecture. Remember, the lookup function is used to look up the value of a specific key from a map. Let us make use of the terraform console command again and test the value that is returned by the lookup function when we use var.ami as the map and terraform.workspace as the key. This returns the AMI ID ending with 279 which is associated with the key called project A which is the current workspace. Now we can update the same lookup function as a value of our AMI argument in the main.tf file. And with that our configuration is now complete. If we run Terraform plan now, we can see that it uses the desired AMI and the tag for creating the instance in the workspace called Project A. To create the corresponding instance for Project B, all we have to do is create a new workspace called Project B using the Terraform workspace new command. This creates a new workspace and also switches to it. We are now in workspace Project B. If we run the Terraform plan command now, we can see that the AMI ID and tag for project B is applied. To switch from one workspace to another, we can make use of the terraform workspace select command. For example, currently we are in project B and to switch to project A, we can run the select command like this. We have now successfully used the same configuration file to create resources for two different projects. When we run terraform apply, it creates two different state files for each workspace. But where does it store the state for each of these individual workspaces? When using workspaces, instead of using the default terraform.tf state file in the configuration directory, terraform stores the state file in a separate directory called terraform.tfstate.d. And inside this directory, we can see another directory by the name of each workspace for which we have at least completed one terraform apply. Within this directory, there would be a terraform.tf state file associated with the resources created for that specific workspace.